I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Yesterday it was the first uh, session of the Strongman, which I can say it was a success. Uh, I work um, a little bit of um, log technique yesterday, and today I'm gonna work on my deadlifts and sandbags. How did you enjoy training with the Strongman? I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, it's totally different things and everything is very new so I'm just trying to absorb everything and and be focused uh, to remember all the cues I'm getting and and yeah it was just fun I was just in the zone of trying to uh, really learn uh, new things I'm looking forward for this one Stefan Strongman this is how you open your door Do we know where to go? Now I know. We're going straight. I'm gonna wear my seat. Yes. Um, we are heading to uh, tourist gyms now to lift some sandbags and uh, deadlifts heavy. So yeah, another day in an office. Okay, we are here. <coughs> Have you ever seen Thor in real life? No, hopefully he's here. Let's see. Let's see if he's as big as he looks on the internet. <laughs> um, I'm really happy to like, learn some new stuff from uh, the best uh, people. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really helpful. And how has been your... Um How, how has been your, your training so far, like your CrossFit training? Because obviously we're not in the same gym every day and it's like a different environment. How do you feel in it? No, so actually before coming to Iceland, that was my, uh, one of the concerns. Like I'm a type of person who likes to have everything, you know, like scheduled. I like my routines. I don't really like uh, too many changes at the same time. So uh, leaving my gym, and you know my equipment and my everything was quite uh, stressful or like I wasn't sure about this especially so close uh, before competition but actually it turns out to be a really good uh, uh, decision and it's really good training because I think uh, as an athlete you should be able to to adapt to, to everything and not being really used to doing the same stuff in the same uh, safe space for you, if you know what I mean. So it's a good training and I've been executing all the workouts uh, no matter of the place or no, no matter of what kind of equipment I was using, so that's, that's really good. We are in the world's strongest gym. It doesn't get better than this. Look around, man. This is a mecca. True mecca. It's gonna be really excited to train today with uh, with Stefan. Look at the look at the grass, Thor's power gym. Doesn't get better than this. Does not get better than this. How's been the trip so far? Epic. It's uh, honestly it's awesome. Even the weather is good, so super happy. Uh, training is going well, I guess, and uh, yeah, excited. Finishing touches, learning some new stuff. So, uh, yeah, being a student, always, always, you know, it's, uh, it's 
going to be a humbling experience. And, uh, you know, you have to learn in the sport very early on to put your ego aside and just leave it outside the door and just uh, learn as much as you can. And yeah, just be a student. That's probably the most important thing. You're never good enough. Obviously, we came to, to have the strongman experience, but other than that, how has the, the CrossFit training been going? And you also have a big comp coming up in November? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your training is going well. Man, we're smashing it. Yeah, it's good. Eat, train, eat, train, recover, and then uh, just pass out in the bed, repeat the next day. It's been good. Yeah, there's a lot of safety stuff. Even the instruction how to. Uh, there's a lot of safety stuff on the walls. There's even a. Uh, uh, instruction how to save someone. Is this yeah. Just that the tip, you know, like same same anchor, mm -hmm. but like tilt a little bit. And then I want you to like bend, like like you're bending the bar, like that. Then you put your shoulders together and down. upper back when it goes the bar like this, mm -hmm. your upper back gets stronger. Okay. Can I see you now? Yeah. Uh, you stop, stop for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh. A little bit like, like this, mm -hmm. but Higher. Yeah, like higher with the knees and, you know, hips go back, more okay. back, so it's like straighter. Yeah, good. Good, very good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah. 24. 24. This is just the time. Yeah, you know. And when you're maxing, like something will break, like in the technique, because you're maxing. So you just you try to lift the perfect form, but then competition is competition. And then then you go a lot. I feel like I'm passing out by the end. Like the time. Yeah. Because you are not really breathing, it's like uh, for three times, yeah. Look like you just did a conditioning session. I feel like it. I feel like it. It was really good. It was definitely different, like relearning something compared to learning something is so much harder. So it's hard not to fall back to the old stuff. It was good. It was good. How do you find it to have to relearn a skill that you've trained for the past 10 years? Well, it, it's so different. I think it would be so much easier actually to start, like to be able kind of like forget your old technique and start from zero than, than starting like trying to change your technique uh, after doing it for such, uh, such a long time. But yeah, I, I get the three very important cues which I'm gonna uh, focusing on when I'm uh, from now on. So, yeah, it's just, you know, practice is going to make it um, perfect. 
I needed to think about it a bit. Like uh, I didn't really breathe too much <laughs> during the deadlift, so my oxygen just. Uh... Okay, but I'm ready to clean some sandbags. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we can go to 80 kilo because maybe she can warm up. There's a 150 pound deep ball. Yeah. 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 Yes, it was the best session uh, from all the sessions since we came to Iceland, for sure. Like uh, my last uh, attempts on the sandbags uh, left like uh, bitter emotions uh, at the games, but it's been so beneficial to to be able to train with Stefan. He showed me an, uh, uh, another few cues regarding sandbags, and I was just doing 80 80 kilos for reps now. So it, it's. Dangerous. Dangerous. I'm coming. Gabriela Miga, the strong man. It was really good. She was wrapping 80 kilos at the end for rep, so that was, that was very, very good. We learned some uh, very, very valuable cues. Secret. <laughs> that was good. That was awesome. Every session with him is such a fucking legend. Yeah. All right, let's do some accessories. What just happened? I don't know. I think it's a it's a joke or something. I'm in some kind of prank. <laughs> we just finished um, first session. We got into the apartment, and I was getting ready to to eat something. And Christoph just told me, um, "I will be right back." I'm like, where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna just get a tattoo. What? And what are you gonna tattoo? Uh, I will see. You will see. And he just left. And I just stayed in the apartment. What's going on? So I was trying to uh, call him, but he didn't pick up. So I knew exactly when he w went to get a tattoo. It, it was just a studio tattoo just across the street. So I just went there and he was... He did that. He just got two tattoos, one of the uh, right tricep and second one on the left tricep. We gonna get, we gonna go to train with Stefan uh, for the last time before we're gonna leave to Rogue, to Texas. Uh, we, I'm gonna lift, uh, I'm gonna lift locks again, because we leave. Uh, I had a log session with Stefan on Sunday, yesterday we had some deadlift sandbag session and today we're gonna touch the log again and maybe some sandbags too. Like uh, of course the first day was with the log was was a bit unknown and I was surprised how uh, different and heavy it feels but maybe today it's gonna be actually uh, I mean, I know it's gonna be better, so I'm hoping everything's gonna click, I'm gonna remember all the cues from Stefan and I'm gonna lift more and heavier. I found it amazing for only two sessions, it's like... Like she just found it, like in my eyes. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what she will do on, uh, in the competition. Cool. And uh, what do you find is like interesting for you, like working with like CrossFitters? What do you, what do you see when you work with them? Uh, they're very coachable, like and most, 
of the people uh, of the athletes that I beat, they're very humble and they're just willing to learn and just trying to apply it to their sport and um, yeah, and just very impressive athletes like with strength and everything that they do. I'm just uh, I'm a fan. I'm just a fan. So first of all, Stefan is truly a legend. He's not just a great strongman, but he's also a very, very knowledgeable coach. And then he can also translate that knowledge so easily, so we understand it um, coming into a sport with, uh, with obviously a CrossFit background, but not, not besides being a strongman fan, not knowing much about it. And I think he's someone that we learned so much from, not just from on specific implements, but about the strongman mental side of trainings, about uh, training in general. And we had so many great inputs into our training that we can put into uh, use for later on uh, in the season and, and the coming years. And this is not the last time that we are training with him, I hope, but it will be a relationship that we can keep uh, growing the coming uh, coming season and coming years and uh, he's truly, truly a valuable um, coach uh, that we get to spend a couple of sessions with, so it's pretty awesome. That's all. I really enjoy those, those sessions uh, because I really like to lift heavy and it was something uh, completely different that I'm used to. So, and and I'm just uh, I'm just also very surprised how different it felt today the log compared to when first time I tried it on Sunday. It was like a totally different thing. Like I felt very confident with it. It was going up uh, so much easier than on Sunday, and I'm. I built so much confidence today. Like this is a really solid day. And, uh, well, overall, we we also broke down like a, a couple of other movements with 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 him. And like, what is uh, your main takeaway from from training with Stefan, not only on the log but in general? That everything can be improved. Let, let, let's say like I'm not the worst at deadlifts and I'm not the worst at sandbags, or I'm pretty strong. Uh, female athlete uh, on the competition floor but uh, I can always be better at something so it was really nice to kind of like take uh, takes, uh, one step or few step backwards and now I'm just gonna uh, get even better. <laughs>